Yo, what is going on you guys? Bash and Waijo here and I just want to go ahead and show you guys something I've been cooking up working on for a potential contender for the next way to go ahead and play cash tier best deck after a potential ban list. Right now I still have a Rise Heart in here, I have two Unicorn, I have the Fenrir's, whatever it might be and realistically all these cards could get annihilated on the ban list but they can potentially depending on what is left could be used as an engine so i want to go ahead and use this more like a theory craft video uh this deck's actually super super nuts uh so i have two test videos i'm going to show you guys here towards the end of the video but i just want to go ahead and show you guys the potential that this deck can really do so there's been a lot of hype recently surrounding the chimera cards primarily well all the illusion cards right so essentially when the cards were first announced i don't think there was really much hype about them i mean they're whatever you know uh great you have a fusion monster that can rip a card from your opponent's hand during the end phase that's useful it really is useful it comes up but honestly guys this has a lot of potential uh, so the Chimera cards are being used in multiple different types of decks like uh, like Branded, I want to go ahead and mix it with Cash Tira, but it in itself is so fantastic one card engine that nets you plus a lot, a lot, okay guys? So it immediately fuels Guardian Chimera for free for you, it leaves you with a 2200 beater on board being your Mirror Knight along with your oh, 2200 with the with the attack boost from the cashier field spell but that's beside the point it leaves you with a uh, with a pretty good boss monster with some decent stats on 2100 attack 1800 defense that we will then use as fusion material to summon out the guardian chimera and then this thing's going to have additional effects as well uh, to go ahead and allow us to special summon more monsters from the graveyard which any even more pluses that way as well and then the fusion spell can be used during either player's main phase not once per turn to fuse you if you want to go ahead and summon guardian chimera on your first turn you have the power to do so it just has a lot of good things going for it i think this backed up by a decent cash tier engine right now i didn't cut down i didn't as you guys can see i didn't slack off on any of the cash tier stuff this is a full cash tier deck and then anything non-engine, I just slapped in a whole bunch of <laughs> all the Chimera cards. It just actually works pretty well. The only contradicting thing is that they both archetypes lock you into either fusions or XEs. So it depends on which ones you want to go first, go through, I should say. But in the event, guys, that a Rise Heart gets banned, uh, which realistically it needs to at this point, or uh, Shangri Era goes to one where it might be, Exe Summoning might be less convenient for you. You can definitely go ahead and use this route. I personally prefer, if you're playing this variant, I personally prefer Fusion Summoning because I believe that being able to just constantly pop cards your opponent controls, draw cards constantly, just being able to interrupt my opponent with the Fenrir's and Unicorns, things like that, is really really good and i think it comes up super super clutch that and that's the main reason why i see it uh, being synergistic as well it's also because cashier does not need a normal summon whereas the illusion to chimera play does need its normal summon so it is something that you definitely want to take into consideration as well one card we're going to be normal summoning and that is the mirror sword knight and that gets us to uh, special summon out our burfmet burfmet is a free plus two which is insane searches you out the chimera and a level 4 beast which we can actually go ahead and search gazelle if you guys have not seen Jasin's video you can also search uh, the tiger wangu card so that's pretty funny if you guys want to go ahead and, and tech that in against like sprites or you know whatever low attack uh, you know, decks there are out there I just think this, uh, this has a lot of potential moving forward. I just wanted to make a quick video about it. Nothing too, too crazy. I do want to go ahead and show you guys so two combo videos. So not combo videos, but like uh, test scenarios for you guys. I'm going to show you guys right now. All right, guys. So this for, this first one is just me messing around, trying to test against, you know, the, its own deck and everything. Nothing too, too crazy. But overall, what we can do with this deck is just super nuts, to be honest. So we're going to go ahead and activate the cashier stuff, do cashier shenanigans. Go ahead and activate the unicorn. Now, the only reason I did not go into the um, the cash tier, uh, what's it called, theosis, is because it's gonna lock us into Exe's monsters. Says right there, um, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck except Exe's monsters after 
activating this card. So I didn't want to lock myself just yet. Like I said, I do prefer fusion summoning. I think this thing is a lot better. Normal summon out the Mirror Knight. Uh, special summon out the, what's it called? The Burfament. Burfam is then going to go ahead and activate to add you a Gazelle and the Chimera Fusion. We didn't need to really search the Gazelle, we already had it, but it lets you search uh, both, so you know, why not gain more hand advantage that way as well? You can use this fodder or, just, well actually yeah, just fusion fodder in general. We're going to activate Chimera Fusion and that's going to allow us to have three chain links activate right here off the bat. So it's going to be activating, uh, we're going to activate this as chain link three to be able to then uh, send a random card from my opponent's deck from our opponent's hand to the graveyard during the end phase, so that's nice as well. He immediately grants you even more advantage over your opponent. And then I believe is the, uh, what's it called? The Mythical Claws, that's gonna allow you to add an illusion monster from your deck to your hand. So normally I like to go for a Cornfield Codal, just because that's a one card starter. You just pitch it, you search your Mirror Knight and you're good to go from there. Just in case they have other shenanigans, but I like to go for that one as well. Uh, and then I do like to go ahead and activate the Burf from that effect as well, which lets you target an illusion monster in your graveyard and special summon it, which we have one illusion monster right here, which is going to be our uh, mirror, mirror Swords Knight. So we have immediate advantage right off the bat. And that's what I'm talking about when it says it immediately fuels a Guardian Chimera already. Because right now, you're searching a monster, you're special summoning one from the graveyard, you already have a monster you fusion summoned, that's two on the field, one in the hand, that's Guardian Chimera right off the bat. And what's nuts about the fusion spell is that during the main phase, you can actually go ahead and add this back to your hand as long as you have a uh, Chimera of Mythical Beast, whatever, fusion monster, which this is. So you can just go ahead and activate that effect, add it back to your hand, right? And now I want to go ahead and act activate Theosis, so now I am chilling. Uh, super, super comfortable right now. So uh, you see the fusion is going to rip out the Triple Tactics Talents, which doesn't, I mean, it helps. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, it definitely helps. Uh, we have a Sec Chimera Fusion, which we can go ahead and Fusion Summon during our opponent's turn, no problem. We have the Cash to your Fenrir, we have a Cash to your Unicorn, and we have a Guardian Chimera waiting to happen. And then uh, the rest of the hand doesn't really matter. It could be hand traps, could be literally anything else, and you're good to go from there. So we're gonna go ahead. We didn't even need to activate Cash Year of Birth. This is, is just a, us being cute at that point. <laughs> so essentially, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and go the, the natural route, right? Which is to go ahead and activate the Unicorn. I mean, activate the Field Spell Search Unicorn, Special summon Unicorn, activate Unicorn, in order to search. Now we are going to activate Mirror Knight because Mirror Knight is another form of disruption which can uh, negate monster effects uh, by tributing it off or banishing it off. So it's really, really good to go ahead and have. Uh, but we're actually going to go ahead and use Chimera Fusion on the opponent's side of the field to go ahead and try to uh, still be able to use it at least as a material. So we do get that off. Uh, so I'm going to activate the uh, Chimera <clears throat> and, you know, pop cards, whatever. Birth's going to go ahead and banish their entire engine. And then we Chimera Fusion when they activate their Birth. And we're going to be using the... We can use the Unicorn, we can use the Fenrir, we can use the Fusion, and we can use any card in our hand. So we're going to be able to pop, uh, but I believe in this scenario we use two cards in our hand. Yeah, we use the Cornfield Codal and the Claws. And with this, because we really just need to pop one card, it's going to be the Birth. We're going to get a free pop right over here. And then we still get more effects over there as well, special summoning. Uh, add back because we did act, uh, use the gazelle activate birth from effect to go ahead and search out another chimera fusion so off of essentially just the fields the cashier field spell realistically the cashier field spell plus uh, this mirror source knight you went plus one two three four five six seven you know well yada 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 uh, and and it has enough interruption it doesn't have any negates so that's one downside but cashier never really had negates to begin with so in the event that a rise heart gets banned this is the new way to play cash tier hands down i mean this is absolutely insane has incredibly good interruption and i'm sure you guys have one more replay as well all right guys so if you guys play edo pro i uh, don't know why they, they don't update their decks so this is going to be um, me playing current ban list and with the chimera stuff and then my opponent which i asked them to go ahead and swap that so now you're playing ocg land shenanigans with uh or not ocg land what's it called the uh mind hacker stuff and things like that but it none of that none of that matters we're gonna let our opponent go clean off because we have no interruption in our hand really the only hand trap that we do play is droll which that may change down the line of when it adds a little bit more interruption but realistically like this this deck is made to to break boards 
super easily. So that's perfectly fine. We're gonna get three zones blocked right over here. All right, Mind Hacker. Yeah, that's fine. We're gonna he's gonna summon out a unicorn. Realistically, should have summoned out a uh, what's it called? A uh, Fenrir. Uh, during our standby phase, but that's perfectly fine. I mean realistically it doesn't really matter because we just had the Book of Moon anyway Because we're nice like that. So again, you see we have the field spell Mirror Knight uh, Coincidentally, so we're gonna go ahead uh, Book of Moon that one first of all uh, Activate the field spell yada 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 summon out the unicorn. He has the imperm which is unfortunate, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, we're just gonna hand Book of Moon the uh, era to give us a little bit more room to work with, and then we are good to go from there. Summon out the Mirror Knights, uh, special summon out the Burfamet. Burfamet's gonna search us the Gazelle, along with the Chimera Fusion as well. So we're gonna go ahead and go clean off from there. Activate Chimera Fusion. This is what I'm saying. We're gonna activate Chimera Fusion twice in this turn, so pay attention. So we already activated Chimera Fusion, the Fusion Summon into the uh, Chimera Phantom Beast King. We are doing this because we are, already have the uh, Burfamet on field and we searched the Gazelle. So we get that. We're gonna activate our effects to add a Codal to the hand and special summon the Mirror Knight from our graveyard back to the field. We have Codal, we have Mirror Knight, and that gets added back to our hand. And this is also gonna activate to rip a card from our opponent's hand during the end phase as well. Let's not forget about that, but it's not gonna matter because we're about to OTK. Uh, so this is where we guys go ahead and activate Chimera Fusion. Use two, uh, two on the field, one in the hand. Like I said, we're only using those cards, uh, and then we can summon out our Guardian Chimera to pop two, draw one. So we're gonna go ahead and pop the Era, and we're gonna pop the Birth, which is really gonna be uh, what's annoying to us because I don't know that he has a Birth in his hand, of course. And the rest we can really just get over, right? So that's not gonna be a problem. We're, we actually draw into Birth, which actually was super nuts. Uh, completely not necessary whatsoever, but <laughs> but hey, we're gonna take it, right? Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and go into battle phase here. Fenrir is gonna go ahead and attack, but banish the this guy. Uh, even if we could, didn't have that, we could still just beat the beat the brakes off it with uh, with the Chimera Guardian Chimera that is currently being boosted by the field spell as well. So it's absolutely nuts. So we're gonna banish that beat over that and just slap in the face for a whole bunch of damage and that's OTK. GG game over, thanks for coming, come again. Uh, and then during the end phase we would still get, I believe, that effect to go ahead and discard a card from our opponent's hand. So if in the event we hit birth, we just absolutely win that game. So that's pretty much what I wanted to show you guys. I mean, the deck is absolutely nuts. It's a lot of fun to go ahead and play with. Uh, I'm very, very highly considering picking up all the Chimera cards, but if you guys did not know, uh, this guy right over here, the uh, King of the Phantom Beast, is you're gonna need to play two of in your uh, in your extra just in case. That's a $13 Ultra, which is not too bad, but Guardian Chimera is back up, up, up in price. It used to be a $9 card before all this. Now it's just about a, a few days ago, and now it's up to around a $25 to $30 card, which actually really hurts me in my heart. And that's for the Ultra Rare and the Secret Rare version. So you might as well pick up the Secret Rare version just because it's a little bit nicer and it has the potential to go even higher in price. But anyway, that's going to be it for the video, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I think, honestly, this could be one of the next best decks of the format. I think it has the potential to be an absolute menace when it comes to breaking boards and making boards. But you guys let me know what you guys think of this deck in the comment section down below. Let's talk about it. And without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next one.